All right. This is going to be a good video. And the whole preface to the video is actually to show you what professionaliz professionalism is. And professionalism is pretty much doing everything professional in a professional manner. The way you brush your teeth, the way you, you know, go to the bathroom, the way you actually present yourself to the world, the way you showcase yourself on the internet, the way you are on social media, the way you are to women, the way you are at the gym, the way you introduce yourself, your handshake, your mannerisms, the things you do every single day, the foods you eat, the way you treat yourself, all of that is professionalism. And this is why I'm dressed in a suit with the nice dress shirt on to actually start being a little bit more professional. That's why I changed my profile picture from the bulletproof vest and the sunglasses because I believe that was a pretty comedic persona. And that's what I actually wanted the channel to be when I first started. But as time progressed and as time moved on, I realized, you know what? I'm tired of being a child and it's time to actually become a man. So I'm gonna start taking those steps towards being that man I want to be. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So you gotta start taking yourself a little bit more seriously, okay? And the way you actually start taking yourself more seriously is applying the, applying the principles that have been shown and taught to you and actually, you know, applying it to the world. Because if you apply it to the world, you're gonna apply it to yourself. And whenever the world sees that you're applying it to yourself, the things that you want are going to become a lot more easier to access because you're going to start presenting yourself to the world in that manner, in that format. So the world is actually going to present to you the things that you actually need a whole lot more and a whole lot quicker because you are actually taking yourself a whole lot more seriously. So that plays into, you already know what, business, gym, education, health, and things of that nature. So the way I see it is <clears throat> whenever you're taking yourself a lot more professional, you're going to attract more professional clients, better clients, less victimized people, more grown men, and that's going to allow you to actually develop and become even stronger yourself because you're going to start surrounding yourself with those men and that's perfectly fine. You know, like Tate says, you gotta be professional in every single endeavor of your life. And I really do enjoy Andrew Tate. And trust me, I've been dressing like this before him, okay? Something that I've been doing since high school. I used to go to high school, dress that same way. Because the way you look is the way you feel. And the way you feel is gonna be presented to the world a whole lot more. So I used to dress like this to school, high school, senior year. I was like, you know what? I want to be, you know, presented as an entrepreneur or a person that takes the business route and actually tries to develop himself a whole lot more. So that's exactly what I've been doing since the dawn of time, pretty much. And it's something that I've always liked and enjoyed doing when I was a kid. I used to enjoy dressing in a suit, putting on a tie and all that. So, yeah, it's not something that's new. It's not something that's random. It's just something I finally allowed myself to accept because, you know, whenever you're growing up, you have a lot of people judging you. The outside world is judging you. So you can actually succumb to that crowd. But once you start disassociating yourself with the crowd and actually start becoming the individual you've always wanted to become, you actually start attracting the things that you need and want for your life and your future life. So you actually become a whole lot more professional in every endeavor of your life by doing such things. You know, I haven't played video games in three months for the exact reason. And I haven't, you know, masturbated since last year for the same exact reason and those reasons are very simple i want to be you know a stronger man and individual to the world the stronger i become the more my family benefits from it the more the world benefits from it the more my future kids my friends everybody benefits from me becoming a better version of myself and who benefits the most out of all this me and that's perfectly fine i enjoy that you know, people may call me narcissistic or whatever, but that's yeah, perfectly fine. Because at the end of the day, I do prioritize myself. And whenever I do have the money, I'm obviously going to help out my family and friends and all that. Give them gifts, you know. But at first, yeah, I've always been that way. You know, I got money last year. Uh, 2021, I made about 
twenty thousand dollars around there roughly probably more 25 and then last year i only made about fifteen thousand dollars but it's because you know i've had a very traumatic life a very traumatic upbringing and i victimized myself a lot for the most part in 2020 all the way to 2021 but then 2022 i came out of that cycle and actually started taking charge of my life and started taking charge of my mindset and taking charge into the real world and started dominating things i needed to dominate so i'm feeling perfectly extravagant right now extravagance is one of the greatest feelings in the world but that does not mean my life is good it means that my mindset is good my character is strong and well-minded so what I'm trying to get at is that you need to take yourself more professional for the world to take you more professional. I'm in my room. It's 12 a.m. Why am I wearing a suit with a button up shirt and dress pants? I'm not wearing the dress shoes because I got rid of them all. Because like I said, I went through an identity shift a couple years back. <coughs> And what was his identity shift? After I smoked weed, it changed my perception of myself and others. And I actually succumbed to those pressures. Because whenever you're smoking weed, it fires up your amygdala a lot harder. And it opens up your out-of-the-box thinking of your brain. It fires up a part of your brain that actually causes you to think more outside of the box. And this causes you to actually think more outside of the box of yourself and others. So you start to realize how others start judging you. And we all judge each other no matter what. That will never change. But we can actually start making ourselves a better individual and start judging ourselves in a more constructive way and start becoming a better version of ourselves. And the best way you can actually better yourself is by actually, you know, improving the things that you need to improve on, the things you want to improve on. So yeah, weed changes your perception of yourself and it changes your perception of others. And this is a reality that a lot of men don't realize and that's why a lot of men end up start doing gang and start doing this and that because of the weed itself because the weed changes their thought patterns and the amygdala in case you don't know what that is and that's perfectly fine for you not to know what that is is the fight or flight response in the brain it controls the fear okay so think about that if it controls the fear part of the brain, guess what is going to make you become a fearful individual? So weed causes two individuals to be come into play. And one of those individuals is a person that is so fearful of the world that it makes itself fearful to the world. So it starts throwing up gang signs. It starts telling guns. It starts beating people up. It starts doing this and that, so it makes itself a little bit more aggressive. And it starts listening to gangster music and things of that nature. Because you are fearful of the world judging you, so instead of the world judging you, you judge the world a lot harder and you make yourself a scary individual. So the world doesn't fear, feel as fearful anymore because people fear you more than you fear it. Okay? And then the second individual actually succumbs to those fears and actually starts complying to the world but becomes extremely, extremely paranoid. And their identity changes and shifts. And what ends up happening, since they're completely fearful of the world, the world tells them exactly who to become and what to do. And they start becoming a lot more insecure and a lot more scared of the things they say, the things they think. And instead of, you know, starting to think better about themselves, they start to think what the world thinks of him. So they stop being scary to the world. And this is another problem within itself. Because if you don't become scary to the world, in a sense, you won't never become the person you need to become. Because you'll be too scared to take action. Because the world is too busy judging you. You're too worried about what the world thinks of you. So this is why I believe weed it's one of the worst drugs to actually do. And, you know, weed actually causes people to become schizophrenics. Search it up. It's very true. Search up this term. It's called, have you ever felt like whenever you smoke weed, you feel like you're in a TV show or you're in your own movie or whatever? In a, in a way you are, but at the end of the day, you're really not. So in a way you are. 
and you feel like somebody's going to come out the bushes and feel like, hey, we've been fucking with you or you're part of a simulation. There's a people, there's a reason people think that we're in a simulation and that's because of weed or because of drugs, LSD, shrooms or whatever, because it makes you think too far outside of the box. And yes, in a way, the world is actually revolving around you and you're revolving around it. And this is actually knowledge that I have acquired from God himself. And yes, God does exist. If you don't believe God exists, then guess what? You're thinking exactly the way the elites want you to think. The elites, whatever. The way you, whatever the way you want to see it. But it's a very weak-minded philosophy, okay? One of the most pivotal points in our human endeavors, in our human history, was actually done by a Christian. You guys may not know who he is, but most of you guys will as soon as I say who exactly it is. It's the person that found gravity. It is the person that invented calculus. You guys already know who he is. I don't need to say the name. So this person actually, you know, showed to the world exactly what it means to be a God believer and do God believing things. So if you don't believe in God, just look at it like that. Okay. <clears throat> um, you know, there's a lot of topics I can actually discuss in this video. And the key takeaway that I want you to take away from this video is actually becoming more professional, becoming your, more of yourself. So present yourself to the world the way you want the world to perceive you. So you want to be more professional, but you're like, you know what? I'll just wait until I'm older. I'll just start taking myself more seriously until I'm older. No, you can start taking yourself a lot more seriously now. Such as putting on a suit, feeling what a suit feels like, putting on a dress shirt, putting on dress pants, seeing what that feels like. If that's who you want to be. Now, let's say you want to be wearing Nikes, whatever, Jordans. You want to look like that, like how Aiden Ross dresses, something like that. For example, you want to do that. Go ahead and do that. That's how you want to present yourself to the world. And that's how you want the world to perceive you. That's perfectly fine. This is how I want the world to perceive me as a professional individual, as a businessman. Because I am business oriented and I have always have been. And I'm going to continue on my business ventures no matter what. No matter what people say, no matter what people challenge me with, no matter what people try to instill upon me or the fears that come to them and then they're scared of actually taking action within themselves. <sighs> so yeah, as you can see, from all my previous videos, this is the most serious one because I had a mindset switch. I had a mental shift as I'm still growing and I'm still becoming more and more of the individual I want to become. And I'm already am that individual as of right now. But it's just going to get better from here on out. Every single day. Every single day. So... What can you think what can you think of to actually start taking action to become a little bit more professional? What can you say that is? What can you say that is? Be honest with yourself. Are you playing video games every single day? Are you not are you skipping out on homework? Look, you guys have been presented with an ideology that school does not matter. I like this mug. I don't watch this show no more because I let that go. And I've become a different identity and I identify myself with somebody different. I still enjoy the show and I can still watch the show respectfully, but it's something I wouldn't allow myself to do any longer because I'm no longer the child that I once was. But the show pretty much, you know, the mug, just explain to you the mug, I love the mug. I love the mug because it's big and that's it. If it's more coffee, I've been drinking a lot more coffee lately. I've been trying Andrew Tate's diet of drinking 15 cups of coffee every single day. And I don't know how he does it, to be honest. It's pretty, pretty difficult. My heart is beating like a motherfucker, but it does allow me to be a lot more productive and actually think in a higher sense. So, yeah, like I was saying, okay. The things that you can actually start taking, the actions you can start taking to become a lot more professional. Okay. It's taking school a lot more seriously. 
Because that, as a kid, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be under the age of 18, for the most part, or 18 to 24, and maybe some of you are in college, or maybe some of you are still in high school, or maybe even middle school, whatever the case may be. The only thing, as a kid, you got to focus on whenever you're, you know, the only thing you got to worry about is learning and applying yourself. So you can start becoming a lot more professional by applying yourself in school and every single endeavor. Because the school is a prime example of what society is. There's a hierarchy in school within itself already. And if you don't see the hierarchy, then you need to develop a little bit more of social awareness because I saw the hierarchy since I was like 11. And that's why I aspired to have straight A's, read books, because I've always been an intellectual individual. And despite what Andrew Tate might say about books, the reason he shits on books is because books, what they cause you to do is make you feel like you're being productive. When in reality, you're not. You're actually running away from your fears and not taking action on the things you need to take action of. But in school, this is all you got to do. You got to focus on the things you got to do and prove to yourself that you're actually capable of doing the things that are presented upon you. Because that's the only thing you got to worry about. That's the only purpose you really truly have whenever you're young. School, that's it. There's a lot of kids already in your age, okay? I didn't have Andrew Tate when I was younger. And a lot of grown men actually start to realize the value that Andrew Tate brings to the table because he's a very smart and capable intellectual individual. And the way he thinks... The way he influences is very fierce and very strong. And a lot of kids are actually starting to realize, you know what? I'm a masculine individual and a lot of you kids are. There's some that are born more masculine than others and more feminine than the others. There's polarity, okay? And the ones that are more feminine, the things you can actually start doing is actually, you know, focusing on school, focusing on bettering yourself, Increasing your verbiage and your seriousness, seriousness, because I'll increase your intensity. Whenever you walk in the room, people will sense and feel it. Whenever I walk into the room, my face, everything about me is very serious. Because I take myself seriously. So guess what? The world is going to take me seriously. There's a reason I haven't uploaded on my TikTok. Because that's not the identity I wanted to identify myself as. And that was the problem. That's why I didn't grow. Because I was doing it. Just because I thought that was going to be the best way to actually be able to grow my Instagram. But the best way to actually grow in any endeavor in your life is just literally by being yourself. So this channel I know will grow. With time and due time it will grow. And yes, these edits, these are not going to be edited. They're going to be, you know, raw, unedited content. Because the people that do tend to watch this are going to be exactly the individuals I want. The individuals that are actually worried about their future. The, the individuals that are worried about where they're going to end up as. The individuals that actually don't smoke and separate themselves from the crowd. If you reach it this far, you're most likely that individual. You don't smoke, you don't drink, you kind of maybe stop playing video games. You stop doing the things that, you know, were holding you back. You started focusing on making money online, producing content, realizing that money is valuable and realizing that money is a perfect asset to have. And if you don't have it, you're pretty much a slave to this world. I'm a slave. And what makes a slave powerful is realizing that he's a slave and knows that he has chains chaining him down. And this is why I'm producing content. This is why I'm focused on building up my business. Because I'm chained down. I really am. Being broke is a chain that is very hard to break. But once you break out of it, you can be a whole lot more free. Okay? I'm broke. I'm very broke. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm not broke. But I'm broke financially. I'm not broke spiritually, mentally, or physically. And those are very good attributes to have, okay? 
that allows me, no matter what endeavor I travel in this world, to carry those attributes with me. That's something that I will never lose. That's instilled within me. That's something that I've always done. I've always had straight A's all throughout high school, all throughout middle school, all throughout, you know, elementary. I've always had an honor roll. I was always in the front. I was always the first one to finish my test. Pretty much always, consistently. But I realized I wasn't the only thing that mattered. So that's why I developed friendships. I actually talked to everybody in my school. I said, what's up to everybody? And I will talk to people. I'll talk to girls and everything. And I did get a lot of attention from girls. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I didn't realize girls actually started liking me up until I got older, which was about 14, 14, 15, roughly. Then I got a girlfriend from 15 to 17 or 15 to 16. No, yeah, 15 to 16, like a year and a half. Had a girlfriend and that did not allow me to develop myself as an individual. Not that much. But what did allow me to develop myself as an individual was the heartbreak. Because I did everything on my own. And after the heartbreak, that's when I started really, really, really noticing the attention I was garnering from females, right? And female attention is one of the best attentions to have. You know, male attention is good too, but female attention is a whole lot better because it makes you feel a whole lot more confident. makes you feel like more of a man. So I started enjoying that. I started realizing, you know what? The reason why I was able to obtain this female attention and garner it was because A, I had the physicality. B, I had the mindset, an ambitious mindset. And girls like that. Girls love ambition. C, I was very competent. Okay. I did sports. I did. I was applying myself to school. I was going to the gym every single day. So I was showing to these females, you know what? I come first. I have a purpose. And I've always known about purpose since I was like 14. You got to have a purpose, a sense of reason to actually be here, to actually focus on things. My sense of purpose when I was 14 all the way to 16 was actually just the gym in general. Then 18 and 19 was, you know, building myself up and finding myself. And now at 20 is building up my business and actually providing value to myself and my family and the things around me. So... Yeah, and the purpose obviously is going to change throughout the years. I'm 20, I'm very young, and I have a lot of things that i got to aspire to and actually grow from, so I'm not too worried about that. But the things I'm trying to present to you is that being a professional is going to be the best thing you can do. So stop making as many jokes as you do with your friends. Stop associating yourself with your friends as much as you usually do, and start actually building yourself up. Now, if you're young, from like 14 to 18, you don't really need to take it as seriously, but realize that after 18 to 19 to 20, you got to start taking yourself a lot more seriously and dialing down, okay? You know, I so I got a factory job and started making money, so my family doesn't look at me and see me like, oh, he's just a parasite. I got a job last year as a bouncer, and I was taking care of myself. I was able to take care of myself, but I wasn't even able to take care of nobody else. So that was it. That's the only person I was able to take care of. At least I wasn't weighing the family down, right? Now I'm not making any kind of source of income because I got fired from my previous job for not being a professional. Now, if I were to go back to that job, it would be a whole different story because I'll be a whole different person. But I wouldn't be able to become this person if I didn't get fired and actually realize, you know what? I need to start being a little bit more serious and actually start taking myself a lot more, you know, than just saying that, you know what? I want to do this. I want to do that. And this is going to be a long video and I'm perfectly fine with that because the people that actually continue watching this video will actually start instilling the beliefs that I believe in myself into themselves and they're going to actually grow from it. So if you already reached it this far to this video, guess what? You actually are thinking about things and you're actually taking into account the things that I'm actually telling you, which is perfectly fine. And that's something you should do. That's something I want you to do. That, those are the individuals I want to attract. I want to attract individuals like you. I have a Discord server. But I'm not growing that Discord server as of right now because that's not the focus I need to focus on. I need to focus on actually building myself up as an individual and then actually building up my business and my income. And as soon as I can do that, I could actually be taken a lot more seriously. Guess what? Once that happens, my Discord server is going to be very extremely competitive to get into because I'm going to want to associate myself with individuals that are actually working toward building themselves up. I've joined a lot of Discord servers and I realize, you know what? There's some Discord servers that are stupid. There's some Discord servers that are 
are good and there's some discord servers that are fun but for the most part my discord server is going to be a very serious server and a very professional server i'm going to want the people in there to be very like-minded and i'm not going to drop the link down below at all ever you can probably comment and maybe i'll invite you and talk to you at one-on-one -on -one. but realize if you do want to actually talk to me one-on-one -on -one, you got to present yourself very professionally because that's the way I present myself as well. It's going to be very competitive and very hard to get into. My circle is going to be very hard to get into. Why? I'll tell you why. Because in my circle, okay, a lot of people don't realize this. But becoming this individual is not very fucking easy, okay? So getting into my circle is not going to be very easy. Like I said, I've had a very traumatic life, very traumatic upbringing, very traumatic life up until right now, even, even so. Okay, these last three months have been pretty fucking good. I'm not going to lie. They've been pretty easy. These last three months have been like pretty much the easiest times of my life, to be honest. But my life has been very difficult. And if you made it this far, I'm actually going to open myself up and allow you to actually know what's happened to me. And this is something that I don't like telling pretty much anybody. But since you made it this far into this video, I'm going to showcase that to you. Okay? I'm going to stand up. Move aside. And let you see something that's very personal to me. As you can see, by this shirt, <clears throat> if you're smart, you see what it says. Rest in peace, Turco, from August 21st, 2000 to October 10th, 2001. I mean, 2021. And that's my brother. As you can see, he's right here. Okay. And he wanted me to make him proud. He always knew the capabilities I had. I love my brother. I love all three of my older brothers. I'm the youngest one. So I was raised by men. And I consider all my brothers to be men. I consider all my brothers to be alphas. Okay? Very capable and strong, well-powered men. Especially the brother that has passed away. And that has allowed me to become very strong. It's been about a year and a half. And another traumatic thing that I want to talk about is that I lost my baby cousin. I was going to be named... After him, he was going to be, because my brother's name was Alex. He was going to be Alex Jr. And he passed away too, two days after my birthday. So you can only imagine how this can make me feel. This is about four to five months after my brother passed away. My little baby cousin passes away too. So as you can see, my life has been pretty traumatic. That's a very traumatic thing to actually live through. Because you don't expect your, any of your, if you have siblings, you don't expect any of them to pass away, right? You see them, you fuck with them, you laugh with them, you live with them, you fight with them and all that. And you start to realize, you know what? If it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be able to become this individual that I am. So yeah, I have the utmost respect for my brother. And sadly, he has passed away. But he wouldn't want me to be bitching and crying. He would actually be wanting me to actually aspire to become the person that I need to become. And this is why I never done drugs, in a way. I never allowed myself to succumb to drug addiction. That's what I meant. Okay. And since I already opened up, I've done shrooms, I've done ayahuasca, and I've done another drug, but I don't remember the exact name of it. Xanax? But very low dosage, so I didn't really feel anything. But yeah. And I've done, I've smoked weed, whatever. Ayahuasca is actually the drug that has given me wisdom about this world and about life and has actually allowed me to actually accept the things of this world a lot more. The traumatic upbringing that I've had. Okay. I just showed you the worst thing that has happened to me. So now you can see why I take myself a lot more seriously because I have a big battle wound, a very traumatic experience.
that allowed me to grow and mature tremendously. And a lot of people notice and a lot of people have realized. Okay. So ayahuasca, what is the, ayo stands for death, or I mean potion, and then wasca stands for death. Potion of death is pretty much the word, what, what the word translates to. And what actually dies is your ego. That's why they gave it the name. What dies is your fear of dying. Because you realize, when I do, do the drug, I'm not trying to sell you on the drug or doing the drug within itself. It's very complicated to actually take and actually partake in. So go ahead and figure that out. It took me a lot to, long, two, three, two to three months to actually figure it out. But what the drug allows you to actually learn is realize that we're all connected. A lot more deeper than you think. You know? A lot more deeper than you think. Okay? And I want you guys to realize this. It's going to be very hard to realize this. How are we connected? Okay. Everything in this world is connected. The air is connected, the vibrations, the frequencies, everything. The wavelengths, all that. Radiation, the sun is connected to as it beams on us. Far away, but it still beams on us. The planets magnetize on each other to be able to create a rotation around each other, one another. Jupiter actually prevents a lot of asteroids coming to our solar, our solar system and actually coming to us and hitting our planet. We rotate around two black holes. The galaxies rotate around each other. You see how deep it goes? And you can go inward as well. Every cell is connected. We have a lot of bacteria inside of us, a lot of parasites. It goes super deep, super, super deep. Okay. But whatever, beyond that point, beyond the spiritual thing of things, I want you guys to actually take away from this video that life, yes, it is hard, but it's very simple. Okay. It's very simple. If you want to become a person that is more professional, a person that's taken a lot more seriously, start becoming that person every single day. Start focusing on that. Cut off your hair if you if you want to cut off your hair. Try that new hairstyle. Try those new shoes. Try that new outfit. It's scary at first because, you know, people are going to judge you and it's different from who you are. But guess what? You don't identify yourself as anything. Okay? That's one thing you got to realize. That you can change your identity from one day to the next. Every single day you wake up as a different person. Yesterday, you were a determined and motivated individual. Today, you're a more professional and serious individual. Tomorrow, you don't know who you might be. Okay? So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. And I'm going to actually get back to work. That's why I'm wearing the suit. That's why I'm wearing the dress shirt. Because I work throughout the night. At home. And that's exactly the goal I'm going to aspire to. I'm going to make money from my laptop every single day. Because I know that's where the money is. I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a good one.